guys welcome to another tuesday and another day at the sales barn we are headed there right now waiting for sophie no the two fast people are already in the car we're waiting for sam and gabby and we're go. chicken guy is here so he's getting excited i hate adding chickens to the flock though like it's so stressful are you excited much yeah babies of everything a little bit yeah what do you have uh guinea hen turkey chicken where are the turkeys in here Oh, the oh, we got ducks. Ducks? What kind of ducks? Uh, I think there's a pecan, an apple yard, a cayuga. And a couple more down here, a little bit bigger ones. What are these things? Uh, chickens. Chickens. Well, yeah. Just white barred yeah. rock. The Muscovy makes the like, full black eggs. Lay black eggs? Yeah. So what are you thinking? I really want the black one because they lay black eggs. I actually don't mind getting some like babies like that because then we can love on them for a while. This is the kind that Sophie wants. Oh, that one's really cute. That's Sophie's dream dog right there. Aren't they cute? Are 50 bucks. Yeah, they're really cute. What? Or best offer. What are, is that, what's that a German Shepherd? Blue, blue here, it looks like. They actually are cute. Must be a bulldog frog. Boston bulldog? Aren't yeah, they? They're supposed to be pure, basically, but yeah. They're really cute. All right, so Sophie's in love, and then this puppy is in love with us. It's a English bulldog, apparently, but I think that it's some kind of bulldog, maybe, just not an English, because you're really tall. Really cute, though. And Sophie loves this healer because that is her favorite dog. What? That's what she wants. That's what she said that her next dog is going to be. Look at them having a nice big drink. <laughs> nice and cool for them. Really cute. Racing homers. So can I trace that? Can I teach them to like go fly and take a message to somebody? <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I would love that. They won't, they won't take messages. They'll only bring a message home. Bring a message like home. You, you can't put a message and say, oh, take this. You gotta take one with you and then say, <laughs> go home with this. Take this message home. That'd be the long way to send a message to somebody. Right. Like They're cute. Can, Look at this one. It's so cute. She'll be home before you are. I love her homing pigeons. No, 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 no. no. These guys are all babies. That's fine. They're all babies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really cute. He what he was saying. What? He said, that's why you're selling them. They'll go to somebody's house and they'll come back to you and you can sell them next week. Blue healer. <laughs> oh, those are cute. I love those. Yeah, like that one's still got the fur on it. That's weird. There's a hat, if I ever saw a hat. Pretty fancy. Imagine if there was five horses for sale. <laughs> They're better than Oppie. <laughs> No puppies. They may be cheap now, but they're not cheap later. And we already have four, and that is more than enough. But look at it. It was popping outside and nothing on the inside. No horses. No, no nothings. Sophie, your best friend. <laughs> Only one lonely sheep. Here's his friends. Ooh, you stink. Nothing? Nothing. No goats. Oh, it's a little baby sheep. So cute. All right, so this is the first time that's ever happened to me. It's gross. I don't want to take these shoes home. Let's throw those babies out because I don't know what's on there, but it is sticky and gross. And it came from those sheep. So anyway, it was hard to walk away from all those animals. But we have to be realistic. It's getting to be the end of the season. Like, it's already starting to feel like fall to me. Isn't that crazy? Because the rain is yeah. stopping. It's because it's starting to not be as wet. Those puppies were $50. $50! I always message my sister and say, look it, they have really cute puppies here. <laughs> anyway, only two were girls, and they were all really cute, but I'm not sure if they are familiar with their breeds, because that... English bulldog did not look like an English bulldog. To There's me. so many different bulldogs though. That's a bulldog, but it's not an English bulldog. English bulldogs are short and fat. Yeah. 
short and fat and they're really husky in the front. Yeah, and I don't look like a boxer like a, cross. Yeah, it looked like a it looked more like a boxer. But they were really nice. They were Amish and like they were Amish and they had a really nice fence that they made to put the puppies in and then they had like their shelter. They had like shade for them and they had water and food for them. They put it all out for them and it was so nice. Like they did a really good job. So Sam went to go get me pig food because I ran out. Well, how did Ellie, oh, Gabby, Gabby just let all the dogs out. She better let all the dogs back in because I don't like the dogs down there when somebody's having a lesson. It's, wow, look how cute you look. All that you see is that big blaze. Yeah, that's Ellie. You guys all blame me for being like the soft one in the in the family, but it's Sam, you guys like it's good for Sophie that she didn't get a puppy and she didn't get any of the chickens and stuff. I think we're at the point where we don't need any of that going into fall, going into winter. We have everything that we need and I'm good with what we have for this season. We're not set up for like more. I feel look at how loosey goosey you are. Ellie Anyways, so Sam went to go get me pig grain and he says, I may or may not come back with a puppy. I'm like, oh. Sophie needs to learn to handle this appointment, which she does really well. My kids are both really good about that kind of stuff. She's a little bit sad, but that's normal. And it's okay for her to be a little bit sad because she loved those puppies. But there's one puppy that Sam fell in love with. Like he wishes he had a dog like Ellie, not a, not a terrier, but a dog that would follow him around and love him the way that my dog loves me but he also doesn't have a lot of time to put into a dog he's busy all the time like i don't show everything that we do on the farm but we're busy a lot so that's what he said to me so if he's a little bit sad i may or may not come home with a puppy i'm like oh, you come home with a puppy i'm not taking it over and he won't come home with a puppy but he he has that mentality like i don't want her to be sad let's hope that he does not come home with a puppy i'm gonna go down to the um, place where we ride and clean up because we have a bunch of junk down there. If dad does get one, he's probably going to get the one that I don't want. The bulldog? Yeah. Because he likes that one. But I want the blue healer because it's like Molly. It will want to go out and do stuff outside. I know. And They're Molly's like big farm dogs. I know. Unlike but do we need another dog? Yes. <laughs> no. Ruby's going to pass out soon. <laughs> Yeah, Ruby is going to expire soon. She Ruby's 10 now. We do not need another dog. I stick by that. But Ruby's 10 now and she's doing really well. But you guys saw when we first got her, if you're new, maybe you don't know. Ellie! Ellie runs right to the pool. When we first got Ruby, she was two and a half. And she was a jumping machine. She would jump anything. She could jump anything. She was wild. She had more energy than any other dog we've ever had even molly and even ellie all right maybe not ellie <laughs> but anyways um she literally has slowed down a lot but she's still completely healthy and happy but she's a little 10 now and the time is coming so this is a mess i'm trying to explain about from the last lesson our water jugs and my cushion for the chair has a hole in it and it's losing fluff everywhere so I have to clean up all this fluff that's my plan I swear Posey can smell me like I wasn't making any sounds and then suddenly she shows up she loves her Ellie though they love each other Ellie you're going in the house I'm thinking about putting the chairs down in the shelter and videoing from down there. What do you guys think? Cause it's hot out here and we need shade. Listen, it's just, it's just a water bottle in there. Get out. Well, that's interesting. Even the little ducks made it <laughs> to lessons today. Lessons on the day by day farm. <laughs> you never know who's gonna show up. Ellie, stop chasing chickens and ducks. <laughs> Ellie. Stop! Ellie, come on, you're going to bed. No wonder he chases you. Having the sales barn so close actually makes it really easy and affordable to buy like chickens and ducks and almost anything that you want to have on your farm. But saying no sometimes teaches your kid how to be disappointed. I read this article the other day about this 17 year old kid at 
the airport. And it was saying that this kid threw a massive fit when they found out that they weren't flying first class. And the parents were like, we just can't fly first class. And the kid threw a fit, like 17 threw a temper tantrum, like sobbing, so emotional. And when they were like talking to this kid, the kid said like, I hate flying. I've never learned any other way to regulate my emotions than to do this. And I've seen kids like that. And it's not their fault. It's because they've honestly never learned any way to regulate disappointment. And my kids, luckily, knock on wood, all of them have been really good at learning that they can't have everything that they want whenever they want it. And they're, they're really good at balancing their emotions. And none of them are, especially my girls, are not super emotional people. They, oh, that means you didn't get it. Yeah. Anyways, so for today's snack, I like to bring snacks to riding when we're at home. How many waters do you think you're gonna need? Two. You're unhappy with my stacking? Yeah, very unhappy. All right, so water, and then we got a bunch of cookies. I was going back and forth on the dog issue. If we get, Sophie and I both agreed on the dog, we would have got one, but because I like, I like the boxer and she likes the other one, so, we made like it easy, we don't need one. I like both of them. This is what I have to live with, people. This is what I have to live with. So, comment below. If you had an opportunity to get a puppy that you didn't really need, but that was really cute and you know you would love it, would you get it? Or would you resist, like me? Because you know you don't need another dog. Like, I think our dogs are the hardest part of farm life. Yeah. Well, because that one's really sweet and the other one's like Molly. The other one's really shy and timid. I felt like it was just... Do Negotiations are still happening, people. All right, I'm gonna try and take down all this stuff and I'm gonna try and move the chairs into the shade. This is the view. And to be fair, it's actually not colder under here. Sylvia, are, Sylvia and I are just sitting out here with the animals. We're sitting in the shade. It's 5 p.m. and like scorching hot. Not super humid, but hot. But look at this rooster. He's huge. Can you see how big he is? He's huge. He's a big, big, big boy. Like the muscles on him. You can't see his wings. I guess it's his wings. His wings are huge. Look at how wide he is across his shoulders. He's a big chicken. He's like, you're a big chicken. Yep, that's true, I'm a chicken. There's my little turkey. She wants to come over, but Ellie's on my lap. Hi, huh, baby turkey. I call her Clara. Up on the hill here, there's a big, amazing breeze. It's so much cooler than like in town. But when it's really hot like this, you wanna be inside for sure. We've been inside almost all day. It's 5 p.m. now and it's still scorching hot in the sun, in the shade, it's really nice. Unfortunately, we are hitting this drought. It's been a few days without rain finally. My garden is starting to wilt. My poor little vegetables. So today I'm gonna to have to water it for the first time. I planted carrots for Sophie, but I planted them literally at the last minute, so they're not even close to being ready. But she wants them for her horse. I try and pick all my vegetables in the morning. I wanna bite this. <laughs> you gotta clean it and cut it. But I find like they're hard to find in there. You have to really look between the vines. There's a ton of vegetables out here now. My chickens are like, I'll eat them, I'll eat them. Don't you know that you're beautiful?